Hello everyone, it's late here and I just got done with the preparing for this presentation um, but uh, just have some patience and uh, stay with me and I will explain everything around this, this uh, thing that happened with this guy that went to um, McDonald's with a moon key. With a moon key uh, on him, uh, he went there and then he went to Burger King. We're going to talk about that and I will reveal the riddles. The riddles of destiny. And uh, it's amazing. You, like, you will love it. Just stay with me and I will explain. So this guy is definitely playing along with the orchestra, he's playing along with the music and he deserves attention for that. From his own perspective he maybe think he's a fool and other people they hate him. There's a lot of hate on the internet right now for him. They're making videos uh, about how bad he is. And all it is, is music. It's all poetry. It's all an orchestra playing together for, for the script. And it's shaping the reality. And um, it's just as, as I think. Uh, so we're going to start off with his first video. And bear with me. Remember, if you, if you don't like to see these things... Um, this, um, how do you say, these rashes here that, that you, you, you can see, just uh, understand yourself that they are fake, uh, they are not real in, in, this, um, in this specific video, they are fake, and um, you, if I ever have uh, rashes, I will first warn about it, and uh, so I will never shock you with these things, okay? It's, it's not my intention to do that. Uh, right now, this is these are fake. So I decided let's let's show them directly because you know you you probably seen this this clip. So here is my um, take on that. Let's begin to listen to what he says when he goes there. Okay. What's good, y'all? Um, my bad I'm not in the house. I had to go make a McDonald's run because I ain't got no groceries. You know, I ain't got no food. But I just wanted to make this video to remind y'all to be careful who you fuck with. Because not everybody you fuck with is going to fuck with you. Not everybody you look out for is going to look out for you. Shit, you might show up for the wrong motherfucker at the wrong place at the wrong time and end up with the fucking monkey pox. Fuck out. So let's listen to that again slower and I will explain what he's saying. I to honestly honestly I don't think that there I, I still don't believe in any conspiracy. I don't believe that there's a secret meeting where all of this is planned. As you will show it's as you will see it's amazing the things that is going to be re re revealed. There are things that will be revealed. It's not the conspiracy. It's not. It's simply the the pattern of reality. And this guy, he doesn't really know what he's doing. And um, he doesn't even know what he's saying. I will explain what he's saying. Because he doesn't understand what he's saying. I will play it a bit slower so that we can all follow what's happening here. Okay. And don't close my video down, because this is actually going to blow your mind later on in the video. Right now, I just show the basics. Maybe I'll have some skip intro below. Okay, let's see, I can put that. Okay, let's listen to this lower. What's good, y'all? Um, my bad I'm not in the house. I had to go make a McDonald's run, because I ain't got no groceries. You know, I ain't had no 
about food. But I just wanted to make this video. So directly he says something here, uh, quite directly, he, he just starts saying. To remind y'all to be careful who you fuck with. Because not everybody you fuck with is going to fuck with you. Not so what he said was, not everyone you fuck with is going to fuck you. What he means is that um, this... This uh, so regular people will will hear this and they will hear, um, uh, not everyone you fuck with is going to <laughs> be careful who you fuck with because maybe it will not fuck back. You see, so what it means is that uh, regular people will 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 hear, be careful who you uh, have sex with. Okay, they will hear. Be careful who you have sex with. But since you, you understand this. So be careful who you fuck with. Because it's it's not going to fuck back. Uh, and that means that. There is no sex, sex here. He doesn't talk about sex. He talks about simply. Be careful who, who you fuck with. And in my opinion. That means. Um, what I have been saying all the time. Um, people were forced to use. Um, masks they they were um, pushed by their uh, how do you say their workplace to do this and that and they it was regular people that did that to them and um, and uh, they, they should have been careful right uh, and this is what he's saying he doesn't really understand what he's saying he he thinks that he's saying like, um, I'm, I'm gay and, and uh, I should have been careful. Okay, that, that's what he thinks he's saying. But what he's actually saying is the poem, which is, you should have been careful who you fucked with. Okay, and uh, let's, uh, let's continue because, yeah. Now everybody you look out for is going to look out for you. Shit, you might show up for the wrong motherfucker at the wrong place at the wrong time and end up with a fucking monkey pod. Okay, so, so that was basically the thing. And um, since people are not aware of the poem, of, of the background pattern, they're not going to make this connection to be careful who you who you fuck with, okay? They're going to think like, be careful who you have sex with. Um, but since uh, you guys, you know what it's about, right? Um, let me continue. Let me just close this thing down here. And um, then it's revealed. Yeah, this was just a promo gone wrong. I would have revealed this sooner, but... I was just taking input left and right and didn't know what the hell to do. Just to give you a quick brief of what this was all about, I have unique and unconventional marketing methods. When it so, uh, so here he revealed that he doesn't he doesn't have it. It it was fake. He can he can take it off. You see, and he did it as a marketing method for his music, and you can see the symbol in the background. The single, this is the symbol and it comes from Hinduism. Okay, this is a symbol of Hinduism. I think it means... Um, okay. Um, if I understand correctly. Um, maybe I re remember cr wrong, but you can check that if you want. Not important, but it's definitely a Hinduist symbol. The thing here is that this guy, this dude, he's not... He's not that. He just has that in the background randomly. And that's because you're supposed to make a connection to his name. What is his name? His name is Duane Kali. And Duane Kali. Duane means dark and Kali, Kali means uh, is, is the Hindu 
god, um, Kali, which is the god of, uh, uh, or d- deity of destruction. It uh, destroys evil um, to create balance. It's some kind of nature deity or, or something like that. Uh, so his name is is connecting to this um, to this also. And as you will see, his music is um, his music will. Um, be full of symbolism, you will love it. Let's start listening to his music. I really like his music. I, I've been listening it on repeat actually. And, um, and, uh, so, um, this music here, it is, it is his, uh, oldest song. It has a lot of use. Uh, not a lot, but it's from 2018. And um, the name of the song is Pre- Pretty Girl Ugly Issues. So it's about a pretty girl. Uh, so the symbology here is that maybe pretty girls will get, will get um, some issues with being ugly, you see. Some new kind of issues. Um, but you see here. Directly, we have the dots. Uh, and you think that's all. Let's just remove this symbol here. Um, so, what I will do here is... I'm going to leave a link to his music. Um, I actually like this song. And I... If you want... Um, if you want the same as me... You can listen to this song... Uh, and look at it, um, listen it to it on repeat, and you can look at it and you can see what I'm going to show you. You can see that in the music. And uh, so I'm going to pause the music and you can listen to it yourself later if you want. And um, let's go, right? Oh, I missed something directly. It's so quick. It's so quick. So directly we have the sunflowers. Okay. Why not, right? Uh, 2018 sunflowers. Sure. Nothing strange, right? Why you're looking at me like I've got shit on my face? That's the lyrics in the beginning. Why you looking at me like I got shit on my face? Like your smile has been erased. I'm fake. Why you so here you have the sunflowers. Like I got shit on my face. Why you're looking at me like I've got shit on my face? There's one more thing. What's on his back? Something more I talked about. So so far we have shit on his face. We have. Um, we have his his we have sunflowers, um, and we have you see on the back. It says colorblind. Actually, it says colorblind on his back, and again it connects to colorblindness that I talked about the blindness of people that cannot see. The no see, the no see boo. The blindness, color blindness. 
frequency blindness. No Cebu, right? He's got shit on his face. You, you remember this, right? Didn't forget about it yet. Uh, okay, let's continue. She kind of looks like some kind of death uh, figure here, you see, and there's going to be a play on that, I would say. So maybe this looks like Kali, you see. How did Kali look? Let's look at it again. Um, wait, where is it? Where did I have it? Here maybe? No. Um, Dark Kelly. Yeah, pretty, pretty close, right? So, there is a duet. There is a, there is a supposed duet. On one hand, there is Kali. On the other hand, there is the victim. The victim is colorblind and it wasn't careful who it fucked with, basically. Time for a storm Sunflowers. So now we're getting into some uh, some scary scene here, and it will definitely remind you of Pennywise the move Pennywise the clown in the movie It. Oh, did we talk about that before? Anyone remember? I think you do. It looks quite scary, right? It looks looks pretty pretty scary. Huh? Does, does it look better now? So there's a dance with the uh, or maybe some kind of, uh, I don't know, clown or whatever, who knows guys, I don't know everything.
Yeah, and we have the cross, of course, and the crucifixion. Um, so yeah, um, just wanted to show you. Uh, there's a lot of symbology around him. From where did it start? I'm just going to summarize it. Um, the the song name is Pretty Girl Ugly Issues. And he has dots on his clothes. And then he... Um, you see here, wait, there's more, I missed it. You see here, one, one, two. So there's two ones that goes into one, it becomes two. We have this also, of course, right? Also, yeah. Uh, some I forgot I should summarize. So we have the color blindness, we have the sunflowers, we have the dots, we have the um, shit on face. Why are you looking at me? Shit on face. And uh, then we have uh, uh, we have this Pennywise thing in the balloons, and yeah, quite a lot, right? So, uh, I think we covered it here, or I think I covered it here, and um, I think this this was the point of it. The point is to spread this uh, this music, and um, so uh, we uh, so it's like in this computer game, we unlocked a new uh, quest here, or uh, or we uh, we won the level, right? this level here advanced to, to the next level maybe some kind of retrocausality occurred and uh, like poof like things happen um, this is how simple it is you simply see the patterns acknowledge it present it to other people they will uh, also see it uh, the giant mind of everything will um, change things because of the pattern and um, yeah this is how it happens and he is oblivious to everything he's he's oblivious totally oblivious this person his identity his personality is unaware of it but deep down he knows guys he knows, his soul knows, or the the bit of soul that he's, he, he has left. He is an artist, he expresses his, uh, he expresses art, and his music is quite good, that's why, that's why he is susceptible. Um, he's, he's a good, he's a good artist, right? He's, this is good, good music, and, um, uh, at least to me, it sounds pretty okay. And um, that's why, you know, um, in a time when there's a lack of inspiration, there's a lack of people that create things, what can they get? What inspiration can they get? It's this, right? They can get this. They are, they are maybe the soldiers of this the soldiers of every, everything the artists yeah okay so see you guys bye bye